My name is Paul Hammond. I'm 56 years old. My junkie Dolphus. I've been collecting junk for quite a while. I've got a little bit of everything here. Quite a few vehicles, a lot of refrigerators, stoves, uh, used appliances, some scrap metal, stuff I've collected uh, over the years. I'm Paul Hammond, Jr. I'm Paul's son. Uh, when you first pull up to the yard, uh, you kind of round a corner, and when you get get there, you can start seeing his junk collection. I mean, that's the best way to put it on that aspect. The court system got involved uh, a couple years ago. I wasn't moving fast enough for him, and uh, so the, uh, the county guy uh, checks the stuff, came out and wrote me a ticket, and that got me into the court system. Since then, he's been to court. They send him to court about every two to three months. Trying to motivate myself, and wasn't able to do it by myself. I'm Bill Hammond. I'm Paul Hammond's brother. You know, I didn't realize how bad it was until July 4th when I came down to visit him last year. 90 cars and 40, 50 refrigerators, 100 lawnmowers. My brother went back to court in January and uh, they put him in jail for five days, which is the first time my brother's ever been in jail in his life. He can't stop collecting, he still collects to this day. I guess that's kind of got me to the point I'm at now. I think that uh, if I can't show enough improvement to the judge, he put me back in jail. I firmly believe that. My name is Bertha, and I work part-time delivering papers. I don't know why I hoard. I just don't get it sometimes. I walk through that house, and I say to myself, what's wrong with me? Why do I have this house like this? It's disgusting, dirty, sad. I don't want nobody to even come here. I don't even want my kids to come here. I'm Eric, and Bertha is my mother. When you first pull up to the driveway, you get this feeling of, wow, what has it become? You see the porch. It's just so overwhelming. It almost looks like it's a wall going to fall on top of you. I have four bedrooms, kitchen, dining, and the living room. I can't get in any of them. They're all filled. Everyone's filled. She sleeps in her car sometimes. You know, that's horrible. Sometimes I sleep in my car because I don't want to deal with crawling all over that stuff just to get upstairs to get on my bed. My name is Phil, and I am Bertha's son. I can't help but feel miserable every time I go there. It's uninhabitable. You can't live there. A human shouldn't be able to live there. She got confronted by the neighbors. Somebody called the police and told them to come over here and look at all this stuff. And they were saying I had garbage in the yard and I had to go to a magistrate. He kept saying, do you want to go to jail? I could put you in jail. 
I couldn't imagine my mother in jail because of the horde. But I understood through the eyes of the judge that it's dangerous. I feel afraid because I don't want to go to jail just for something like this. I'm a rebel fighting for my freedom. I am a saver. I don't believe on throwing stuff away if I can use it later on down the road. Maybe that's why I'm different than most people. I'm Becky and I'm a housewife. If there's ever big disaster, we could probably live at least a year without needing for anything. I'm John Nearing, mayor of the city of Marysville. We're trying to solve citizen complaints here in the neighborhood multiple citizen complaints to council members, to myself, to our code enforcement staff. It's our responsibility as a city when there's this level of a public health situation and a massive code enforcement violation, unlike probably anything we've, we've seen in this city. It's our job to, to fix it. If we don't fix it, no one will. Guess what? It's mine. I will do what I want to do. It's none of your damn business. I believe we're living in a Communist, dictator, Nazism ship. Whenever I talk to the city, I record it because they lie so much. We don't want to push it to the point where you go to jail because of the violations that are not getting cleaned up. I could end up in jail, and I don't give a damn they put me in jail because if they kill me off, Oh, well, they have a lot of people on their ass. You see that post? Yes, sir. That post? Yes. That's your property. This is ours. OK. Stay off from ours. Right. Get out of here. All right. Becky, is there something I can do to help you folks? We're not going to go away. You understand that, right? Yeah. If I end up in jail, I end up in jail. I'll probably hopefully get some publicity where the city of Marysville will be, you know, taking the task. You'll You're see that we're actually here You're to a liar. help you. You're a liar. Get the hell away from me. We, well, Don't even talk to me. My name is George. I'm 63 years old. I'm a registered nurse. The house itself is clean and um, normal. But we have a couple of rooms that are just uh, pretty much filled with stuff. I would guess that there's probably between five and 10 tons worth of miscellaneous everything there. My name is Debbie, I'm 54, and I'm George's wife. The items come from George bringing something home probably almost every day for the last 20 years. George is collecting projects, but yet he doesn't work on them. And he has so many projects that I don't know if he knows where to start at. I'm Richard Martin. I'm a chief zoning inspector. A number of years ago, we received a complaint about a residence that uh, had a very large amount of debris, trash, and some dismantled vehicles on the property. It invites a lot of vermin, and it creates really a, a public health problem. Most recently, we got another complaint. We went to the residence, found that once again, the same situation. And so at this point, we uh, issued another zoning violation. Kind of devastating to me, especially because it was a yard and none of it was mine. 
I mean, I just felt like I never even contributed to any of it. But because my name was on the house, I would have to go to court. The problem is, is again, the officials wanting this to happen or, or else. Right now I have about 15 dogs and nine cats. I can't open it. I'm horrified. I'm going to have to call somebody to pull you out of there. I don't think I'm a hoarder.